Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video, we'll see how to add conditional formatting to a range or a column based on the cell value. And that's something we can, of course, do adding rules here manually, but we would have to add as many rules as different groups or different values that we have here. In this case, we only have three different groups or classes, but in case you have more, you will have to add manually many rules so so we're going to have a simple macro that will do that for as many groups as we have because while for numbers there are several options to quickly add conditional formatting with data bars with um, uh, scale colors or with icons we cannot do that for text but this macro is going to do it. let's see how it looks like so if i run it it's going to look like this so we're going to format the color we can format different other properties but here we have targeted the interior color so for class one we have green for class two we have yellow and for class three we have blue so let's move to the visual basic editor and see how to do that and i have here a new workbook with the same table the same data and we're gonna add a new module and the macro will be add conditional formatting and the first thing we'll do is to declare a collection, my collection, as a new collection. And we're going to use that to get the unique values in, in the target range. Then we're going to have RNG as a range that would be the target range or column in this case, where we want to add the conditional formatting. And then a cell as a range as well. Then we set the range to columns C in this example. And we're going to delete all the conditional formatting, if any, and then for each cell in that range, but with a special cells, we're going to get only the cell type constants, and these, so this will loop only through the cells with values, so despite selecting the entire column, we are only going to loop through the cells with values. And then if cell dot row is greater than one, because we don't want to apply any conditional formatting to the first row, but if you don't have headers, you don't need to use this line, of course. Then if my call dot item cell is nothing, then, and that's how we're gonna get only the unique values, because then we're gonna add to my collection the cell value as item and also the cell value as key. And that's going to keep a collection of unique items. But that will prompt an error when we try to add the item the second time. So we need to add error handling here. So on error, resume next. Then we're going to have a variable, let's say i, that is going to increment by 1 and is going to count the number of unique items, unique values, which we're going to use also to add the conditional formatting rules. And then with the range, and this will apply to the entire column then. So we, if we add more data, it will keep the conditional formatting in that column. Then with format conditions, we're going to add a conditional formatting rule of the type cell value, which equal the cell dot value. And then we're going to target that rule format conditions i, and we're going to change the interior color with color index and I'm going to use colors starting in 35 because I know there are some nice and light colors there but you can you can change it and use whatever colors you want just keep in mind that we only have 56 colors with the color index property and then we can end the with statement here and we can end the first if and second if statements here and move to the next cell so now if we run this we see we get our conditional formatting for class one is going to be a green color, class two yellow, class three blue. And you can see the rules, of course, here. If you click manage rules, these are the three rules we've added because we only have three unique values, class one, class two, and class three. If we had 10, it would add actually 10 rules there with 10 different colors. You can manually clear the rules, simply going to clear rules and clear the rules here. And as I said before, 
you can change the colors. So it, you can start with the basic colors. If you start with two plus one, three, that's going to be red, I believe, red, blue, or green. So let me run it again. And as you see, now we have class one in red, class two in green, class three in blue. So yeah, that's how we add conditional formatting to a range or column based on the cell value. Thanks for watching.